Now mostly this results quite well with the exception of part D. So you might want to skip on and have a look at part D. Otherwise, uh, let's just check. Uh, a few people made mistakes, but generally this was okay. Part A, we find a final value. We've got this uh, formula here. We want to find the value of u when b is minus 4. Well, 3b is 3 times minus 4, which is, well, 3 times 4 is 12 minus 12. And 2b squared, we've got to be careful about this because we've got to do two lots of minus 4 squared. So let's do the minus 4 squared, so that's 2 times plus 16 which is 32. And we're asked to add these two results together. So we've got to do minus 12 plus 32, which gives us, we're adding on 32 for minus 12. So we start below zero, add on 32, we're going to end up on positive 20 or 20. Simplify uh, m to the power of 6 times n to the power of 7. Well, that's just m to the power of 6 add 7. So it's just m to the power of 13. Anything to the power of 0 is 1. So uh, x to the power of 0 is 1, uh, 3 to the power of 0 is 1, 2.5 to the power of 0 is 1, etc, etc, etc. Anything to the power of 0, even if it looks like a 6, it was supposed to be 0. Now this is the one that caused the most problems. Now, we need to remember that power half means square root. So the power of half means square root. So I'm going to find the square root of 16, which is 4. And then I'm also going to find the square root of, um, well, I suppose I should think of this as 16 as the half which is the square root of 16, which is 4. And then I'm going to find y to the power of 6, and then find the power half of that. What times by itself gives us um, y to the power of 6? Or you can think of it as you multiply, you find a power of a power, so you're multiplying them, so 6 times a half is 3. So put those back together, we've got 4y cubed.